Sun Tzu, the great Chinese general who lived from 544 to 496 BC, said, If your opponent is taking his ease, give him no rest. And, when the enemy is relaxed, make them toil. When full, starve them. When settled, make them move. When a white player plays d4, he's hoping for a nice and slow, easy positional game. A game in which he can slowly but surely build up an easy advantage. Our job as the player with the black pieces is designed not to make his life so easy. There are many opening systems designed to do just that, but most are long and complicated and re require vast hours of determined study. But there is one opening system which is both easy to study and effective. That opening system is called the Benko Gambit. The Benko Gambit, Part 1, with National Master Steve Colding. Hello and welcome. This is National Master Steve Colding for Chess for Children. And today's topic will be the Benko Gambit. We will be discussing the history, the ideas, and we're going to do an introduction in this video. In the future, what we hope to gain from this uh, project is that we want to introduce the ideas to you. Plus, we want to examine the ideas in depth in future videos. So we'll be discussing not only the opening itself, the moves, we'll be discussing books that you can read to further your knowledge, and a whole bunch of other things. Well, thank you for uh, signing up for this course. It's going to be a long one, but we hope it will be very fruitful to you and your chess game. Okay, this is Steve Colvin, and hope you have fun. The History of the Benko Gambit The Benko Gambit starts out with the moves d4, knight f6, c4, c5, d5, and the move b5. In the book, The Benko Gambit, written by Paul Benko, New York, 1973, the author wrote, it is impossible to state who precisely adopted the gambit. Some Swedish sources mentioned that it was, occurred there in the 1920s and that tournaments especially for this gambit were organized later. The three internationally known masters of Sweden's past, Stahlberg, Stutz, and Ludzen, also used it, although Stahlberg found it not to his taste, either as white or as black. In the name that would be called a rose by any other word would smell as sweet.
The ideas of the Banco Gambit. So, what is White's general idea in this opening? Well, when he establishes the pawn at c4 and d5, White is saying he wants to build a structure that will be so strong it cannot be assailed. And in actual fact, this structure has proven to be quite resilient and quite strong. And if Black is not very, very careful, he will find himself cramped and squeezed to death. But here, Black says no. I am going to break down this structure by the violent move B5. And this will take the structure and try to make it crumble. Here is the fight of ideas. If White is able to maintain his strong structure, his strong position, then he will squeeze Black slowly to death. But if Black is able to crush and open up the position and break it down, then White's position will crumble. The move of the Banco Gambit. This concludes our little introduction on the Banco Gambit. 
Next week, we shall explore in depth the Blanco Gambit accepted the Sea and Shadow variation. If you found this video helpful, like us. Subscribe if you can, it really does encourage us, and visit our website, chessforchildren.com. If you like what we did, or if you have a way or, or a suggestion on how we can do it better, please leave a comment below. I just love comments. Three books I would like to recommend are Junior Tay's The Bank of Gander, which is the most modern book out. A very, very good book. He's really done a good job by Everyman Press. The Dynamic Blank of Gambit by Sergei Kasparov, another strong GM, and The Blank of Gambit by Jan Pinsky. The Dynamic Blank of Gambit is by New and Chess, and The Blank of Gambit by Jan Pinsky is by Everyman Chess, and that's a real classic. All three of these books you can't go wrong in learning The Blank of Gambit. All three of these books can be found on Amazon.com. Okay, well, this is Steve Colden, and I, as always, had a great time doing this video. And uh, if you need any help, just send a message in the comments below. I'd be glad to get back to you. And Steve Colden for Chess for Children, Chess for Children, where we make children smarter. Hoping you have a great day and kick lots of butt playing chess.